favorite friend, say we're gonna be drawing a zombie head. Yeah, it's gonna be super awesome. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. You got a marker or something to draw with and some papers. Paper and something. Colored, color with. Yeah, something to color with at the very end. Now, if you haven't already, be sure to check out our zombie hand coming out of the ground. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Be sure to check it out. Now today's gonna be awesome because we're just drawing a really cool big zombie head. Coming out of the ground. No. All right, you ready to start? <laughs> First step, let's draw our zombie's eyes right in the middle of our paper and a little towards the top so that we have room for his mouth down here at the bottom. Now we're not gonna draw circles. We're gonna draw them so they look like they've been squashed a few times. So I'm gonna draw a funny shape over here for his, his uh, right eye and then another one over here for his left eye. <laughs> yeah, those are perfect shapes. <laughs> now let's draw his nostrils. We're, we're going to draw him. He's going to look like his nose has been eaten away. So we're going to draw two ovals like this. Yeah. Awesome. Now let's draw his mouth shape. And we're going to draw an upside down uh, U like this. And his mouth is going to be so far open, you can see his gums. And then down at the bottom, let's connect it. Oh, he's already looking scary. That's a scary face, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> now let's draw his pupils up here at the top. We're going to draw them rolling back in his skull. So we're just going to draw them at the very top. And then... We can draw also another, let's draw another smaller circle or oval for the highlight in his pupil. And then let's come back in and color in the big spot, the big part of his pupil, but leave that small little circle white for the highlight. Then on each nostril, we're going to draw another circle or a line that comes out and curves around like this. So it looks more 3D, like you can see the inside of his skull. Yeah. Now let's draw his teeth and his gums. On the side, the left side over here, we're going to draw a line that comes in like this and then back out. Almost looks like a sideways V. And then we'll do the same thing except the opposite direction on the right side. Now in the middle, let's draw a line right down the middle to split his teeth. And then we're going to draw another line over here on the left and another line on the right. Then we're going to draw one more line on each side and we're going to repeat or kind of match that same direction. Looks like a V, sideways V, and do the same thing over here. Next, we can separate the top teeth from the bottom teeth. So first, let's draw a line that comes in on each side. And then we want them to look crooked. So I'm going to draw another line that goes up or down on the other side. And then I'm going to draw another line here and maybe one up higher. He's got crooked teeth. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're going to draw the top of his teeth and we're going to draw upside down U's to connect each of the teeth. So then you can see his gums above his teeth. Does that look gross? Yeah, it does. Now we're going to do the same thing on the bottom except reverse it upside down. We're going to draw the regular U shape to connect each tooth. <laughs> that looks really cool. Now let's color in the left side and also the right. Next, let's draw the outside shape of his head. We're going to start right here next to his eye and we're going to draw a wobbly line and also his cheek. So we're, then we're going to come in like that and we'll do the same thing over here on this side. Come in for his cheek, bone, and then down. Yeah. <laughs> kind of looks like a skeleton or skull because he's so old and decaying, yeah. it, all you can see is a skull shape. Then we're going to draw his jaw. So we're going to start right here under his cheek and we're going to come down and then we're going to make his chin. Oh, and it can be wobbly. Come back over here and then draw into his cheekbone. Oh, it looks so cool. Draw a little bump down here for his chin and come over and finish his right cheek. <laughs> and the more wobbly you make the lines, the cooler he looks. Yeah. Good job, dude. Next, let's draw the top of his head. We're going to draw, we're going to continue this line over the top like this. 
and then we're going to stop. Don't go all the way over and connect it because we're going to leave part of it missing so we can see his brain sticking brains. out. Brains. Okay, we're going to draw another curve right here. We're going to draw a line that comes over. And notice how I didn't connect it. I left a little gap. Okay, now let's draw the bumpy brain line. We're going to start right here. We're going to draw bumps like this. Make it look gross. You don't want the same shape or the same type of bumpy line. Make it messy. It looks like his brain is super squishy. Yeah. <laughs> Next, we're going to connect his skull into his brain like that and also over here on this side. Now it looks 3D. Right here, let's draw a curve that comes around upside down you, and we'll do the same thing over here, and then we're gonna color that in. So it looks like you can see inside his head. <laughs> Super gross. Next, let's draw his ears. We're gonna draw a upside down U over here, and also on the right side. Then we're gonna draw a line. Watch this, it's gonna come in, and then back out and then connect it into his head. And we'll do the same thing over here. In, back out for his earlobes, and then back in to the skull or head. Now we have our zombies look really cool. We've got the general shape to his head, except he's missing all the cool details that's gonna make him look even scarier. Yeah. First, let's start with his ears. We're gonna draw the inside of his ear. We're gonna draw a line that comes around down and you could draw this wobbly so it looks even grosser and if we're going too fast you can also pause the video pause the video if you need more time next let's draw a curve that connects the top down to the bottom and we can color that in so you can see inside his ear let's repeat those same steps but flip it over here on the right ear draw it upside down you but then wobbly and yeah <laughs> Then we can draw that curve for the inside of his ear and then color it in. Next, let's jump up here to his brain and we're going to add little lines inside of his brain. So I'm going to draw a line and it could be anywhere. It doesn't have to look exactly the same. And then I'm going to draw two lines that come out, almost looks like a tree branch. Then I'm going to draw a line that comes out of his skull and do the same thing. Little branches that come out. And then we'll do another one coming the other direction. And this part really doesn't have to look exactly the same because brains just look weird. Yeah. All right. Okay, now let's add, we're going to draw the skin that's kind of peeling away from his skull. So I'm going to draw a jagged line that goes over his eye. And this can be messy. And zigzag back and forth until you connect up to the top. Now let's draw a bunch of wrinkles. I'm going to first start by drawing part of his eye coming away from his eyeball. And then we can draw another wrinkle up here at the top. And I'm going to draw another also wrinkle coming down underneath his eye. Let's do that same thing over here. I'm going to draw another kind of line that comes out and then comes back in. Then we can draw a wrinkle that's over his eye and then down underneath his eye. Then we can also draw wrinkles that go over the top of his nostrils. I'm going to draw a big one and also a small one. Next, let's draw some wrinkles on his cheek. I'm going to draw them coming down from his cheek and maybe just one over here on this side. And then let's draw wrinkles coming down on the side of his mouth. Let's also draw a bunch of whiskers. I'm going to draw three lines here and maybe like four here on his chin. Three down here. And you guys can just add as many or as little as you want. I'm also going to add those whiskers up here on the top of his head. All right, Jack, I think we got most of the details, except we, I think we're missing one last thing. A worm. Yeah, we need to draw a worm coming out of his skull. We're going to draw a little curve right here. This is, it's coming out of the, his skin. This is the gross part. Then we're going to draw a wavy line. So we're going to start here on the top of that curve. I'm going to draw a wavy line. So a wiggly worm. 
And then we're going to curve back around and then we're going to match that wiggly line coming back into the first curve we drew. Oh, that looks disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> then we need to draw the little lines on our worm. So I'm going to draw them curved. Do you see how yeah. that makes them look more 3D if you draw them curved, not straight. Oh, it's so gross. And then right here on this curve, I'm going to draw I'm gonna draw a curve that comes around, completes it, and then color it in so it looks like a hole. Oh, sick. <laughs> this, I think, is maybe one of my new favorite drawing lessons. Yeah. <laughs> I like the little eye you added to your work. Yeah. Now, he looks awesome, but he's gonna look even cooler once we do what? Color him. Color him. Now, this part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end, you guys can pause it to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Jack, we finished coloring our zombie heads and it looks so amazing. much. Amazing. Yeah, it looks amazing. It looks way better colored in. I hope you guys at home are gonna take time, pause the video and you can match the same coloring that we did or you can use your imagination, color your zombies any way you want. You can even add extra details like more worms maybe coming out of his ears. Yeah. You could also draw the rest of his neck coming down and you can also draw a background. Maybe there's a graveyard back there with more zombies coming yeah. out of the grave. You could also draw the hand. Oh yeah. The zombie you, hand you, in the background. That would be really tricky, but I bet that would look awesome. You draw two zombie hands coming yeah. out behind. <laughs> we hope you had a lot of fun following along with us. Be sure to check out that zombie hand lesson. It was so much fun. Yeah, it was. But I think this one was more fun. Yeah. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.